So I'm probably going to set this out as a separate video. What we've um, done today is we've uh, taken a nice piece of pine, treated it with some olive oil just to give it a nice bit of a stain and a look. Um, and we've gone through and drilled our holes, marked out our holes, drilled them. Um, we stepped up one, so for the three and a half mil hole, we used the four mil drill bit. And so for the five mil hole, we used the five and a half mil uh, drill bit. That just makes it a little bit easier to get in and out of the wood. And um, yeah, and, that, and that's worked out pretty well. Got some room at the end for some bigger drill bits uh, later on in the future, but at the moment my largest one is a 10 mil drill bit. Um, so that's as far as I went for today. Uh, what I wanted to show you is I currently have a, all my drill bits, they kind of got mixed up. I went and tipped over the drill bit holder at one stage and so they're all now mixed up. One little trick that I found at a workshop last week was using a vernier caliper. Uh, we were actually using the micrometer at the uh, workshop that I was at. Um, I'm always trying to find um, the sizes of my drill bits. They're sort of etched on the bottom of the drill bit on the on the on the very not not that bit, not on the end bit, but down here somewhere. Uh, which is great if you've got awesome light and your drill bit's brand new and it hasn't rusted over. Um, but as soon as you've had it for about five minutes, it turns like this and you can no longer work out whether it's the four and a half or the four or the 3.8 or what it is. So what we were using at the um, workshop last week was a simple micrometer. Like I said, I managed to pick up a, a digital uh, vernier caliper. Now these can be used for measurements up to I'm gonna guess one hundredth of a mil um, yeah so one hundredth of a mil the micrometer will go to one thousandth of a mil um, I really mostly need a tenth so this thing is more than accurate enough um, you can learn how to read the vernier caliper and I've got another one over there which I do use sometimes uh, for doing certain things but honestly now that I've got this little fella uh, with its digital readout I'm probably not gonna bother ever touching that one again so turn it on, push it down, zero it if you need to, and then it's simply a matter of you use this little fella to roll it back, pop your drill bit in there, and it's 5.4, so that's probably going to be my 5.5 mil drill bit. It's never going to be absolutely spot on. You're sort of again looking for a rough guide. Uh, this one. 4.45 so that's probably my four and a half mil drill bit so this one I know is a one millimeter and there we go 0.99 hoping you can read that so yeah rather than me trying to guess trying to guess I'm just going to now fill this little drill bit holder up with my calipers um, I just wanted to pass that on as a separate little tip. Uh, whereas this guy goes up to 150 mil, zero to 150 mils. It was about $40 from JCAR, I believe. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description. Um, but for one of the digital readout, I thought this was outstanding value. Might not be the most accurate one down to the thousandth of a millimeter or even to a hundredth of a millimeter. But when you're only working with tenths, that is more than enough. So let's put this whole thing together. So done. Awesome putting that together with this little fella. That's come up really great and that's going to be so much easier than trying to muck around with this plastic thing, getting them right, getting them wrong, having them all in the one spot. So that's it. That's our drill bit holder project. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the video channel, Maximum Chips. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Check out the Instagram feed. That's probably the most popular one, Instagram slash Maximum Chips. Um, you can also catch us on Twitter. 
Um, and yeah, please leave a comment below. Any questions, any comments would be absolutely fantastic. Hope you've enjoyed it. My name's Michael, and uh, this has been Maximum Chips. Cheers.